most days the partisanship in Washington. Uh, it feels as if it just keeps getting worse. Party line votes, public divided by ideology and geography, a digital media landscape where it's easy to only hear your own opinions reaffirmed. It seems as if the political center has become lonelier than ever before. If there ever was a true political center, former Democratic Congressman Jason Altmaier of Pennsylvania might be close to it. He's written a book about our political tribalism called Dead Center, but partisans on the left and right will say, you know what? We've won. You, the, the center has done a terrible job of making the case for their existence. So it's on them, not on the partisans. What do you say to that? Well, I get asked all the time when I speak about this, why is there so much partisanship in Washington? The answer is because we elect partisans. Mm -hmm. The system is designed to elect and protect people on the political extremes. Which, I mean, which came first? Is it the voters delivering us candidates that are more polarizing or the system forcing voters to choose between two polarizing options. It's the system, but the closed primary system mm -hmm. gives power and strength to that far extreme on both sides. So the folks who show up to vote in November in the general election wonder why are my two candidates I have to choose from on the extremes? It's because A, they probably didn't show up in the primary, and B, they might be excluded from the primary because they're an independent or other. When you have to appeal across a wider spectrum of ideology, mm -hmm. you moderate your message to appeal to them. All right, but here's the real problem. The people to change those rules are the ones that benefit from the system that already exists. So what do you tell to the, to the voter here? Read your book, says, I agree. Yeah. I want to see these changes made. The people in charge of making the changes are the ones that benefit from the old system. Well, that's exactly right, but some of the changes are being made. The state of California has gone to open primaries where everyone, Republicans, Democrats, Greens, Libertarians, they're all in the same You want to see a California system for the country? I think the country should go to open primaries because if you're a candidate running in that system, you have to appeal to everybody, including people on the other side. In a current closed primary, you only have to appeal to the extremes. So it's no wonder in that system that you end up with people on the extremes representing you in Congress.